Hello and welcome my Taurus friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. This is going to be a group reading for my Taurus friends. This is a follow-up reading from a spread I completed in September. The one I, I completed for celebrating service dogs. I've been contemplating a more in-depth reading on what my friends are not seeing and what they're missing. And that's exactly what we're going to look at. Things that are right in front of you that you're missing, things that your eyes can't see, things that your third eye can't see. And of course, we're going to look at some ways of helping you to resolve some of those things. The deck I'm going to use for this reading is the Tarot of the Hidden Realm. And then I'll end off the session with an Oracle Blessing from the Oracle of the Shapeshifters. Like always, there are links below to both these great decks, so should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. Alright, my Taurus friends, let's see what the cards have to say. What is it that my Taurus friends are not able to see with their eyes? We have a jumper. Hit the floor. That's the King of Pentacles. Kings are that fully developed personality. They have the most responsibility and control. He is often known as the Midas Touch. He has the ability to manifest and create everything he needs plus more. Which is something that I think a lot of us want to do is be able to manifest and create. That abundance piece, that's what we're missing. How you can go about your life and manifesting those things that you really want. Getting all those things that you really need and really would help out in the world and in your life. So let's see what is impacting your ability to see how the king would guide you to manifest, how you can manifest things. So what that obstacle is. That's the Six of Swords. Sixes are about balance. Swords are about truth and knowledge. And it's those swords that are getting in your way. Right now we're imbalanced or unbalanced, if you will. Right? There's a, a lack of balance in your communication and that knowledge piece. Those past sorrows are flocking forward. They're impacting your ability to see how you could start to manifest more abundance in your life. Those past hurts, those are situations. In the sword world, swords don't attach emotion, we do. And it's that emotional piece that is weighing us down. And it doesn't help that our ego is pushing those buttons so that it's really impacting your ability to see how to manifest. The king is standing right beside you. He's ready and willing to teach you how to do this. That energy is there for you. We all have the ability to manifest in our lives. Right now, yours is really being impacted by the Six of Swords. Those swords need to go to help you overcome it. All right, my Taurus friends, let's look on your third eye. What is it that your third eye is not seeing? That's that Two of Cups. Twos are about duality and choice. Cups about intuition and emotion. The Two of Cups is known as that lesser lovers. The reason that they're called the lesser lovers, it doesn't mean that the relationship isn't any more or less than what the lovers are. Is what we're looking at a minor arcana versus a major arcana. If you will, the uh, Two of Cups is the everyday aspect of the lovers. So it's that love piece, that connection piece. If you were looking for a relationship, your third eye knows exactly who he or she is. If you're in a relationship, your third eye knows how to deepen that connection. So that, that love piece is a big aspect of what your third eye wants to share with you. So look at what's impacting your ability to access your third eye so that you can make that deeper connection. That's the Nine of Wands. Nines are about that completion, but hard work that we've put into things. Wands about your passions. At the moment, our passions are really impacting our ability to open up our, our third eye. 
Yes, our passions help us connect into our intuition because we get out of our head. However, again, we're looking at that balance piece. Balancing time that you're spending in with your passions versus time that you're spending in literally working on that aspect of opening up your third eye and that aspect of your relationships. Opening up your third eye so that you can truly see how to go forward. Your passions, yes, they can help you move forward in your intuition. However, your intuition and your third eye are two separate pieces. It's like your left hand and your right hand. Are they similar? Yes. However, they require some nurturing and loving as the, of their own. Your third eye is a clair. That's where your clairvoyance connects in. As much as it is an intuitional piece, clairvoyance is a clair and it, it needs, it's a skill and you need to work on that. All right, so we have what's impacting us. That over hyper focusing in on our passions and allowing those past hurts to really impact our ability to see how to manifest. What's going to help? Let's look at that. Because it's one thing knowing, the next piece is, is how to kind of overcome some of these. And I've talked a little bit about just from what the cards say. But let's look at more. The next card is the Page of Cups. Those pages can really help. It's really easy to get, as we know, focused in on something and get those tasks done. We've got to get working on this. I'm going to give my time. I'm going to do this. We're missing that fun. Pages have that inquisitical, playful energy. And that's what needs to happen. When you have that fun and literally start playing in the water, you're going to connect in at a deeper level. You're getting past that passion piece and you're going to go more in depth into your intuition which i know that we're, we're it's kind of another avenue if you will another way of building your skills when you start to really play with your intuition and play with those skills you're going to be able to open up that ability to start seeing and, and really um enjoying the players they can be a lot of fun so what will help the page out That's the three of swords. <laughs> it goes straight back into that six. Threes are about expression and growth. Swords are about truth and knowledge. It's literally about addressing those past hurts that are impacting you here. That are, they're still going to be impacting your third eye as well because when your ego gets stressed and you're not listening and that you keep trying to grow and expand and that's scary, throws them up in your face. Oh my God, that time that we did blank, you can fill in whatever this past trauma and pain is. It's really impacting your ability to move forward and truly see what's right in front of you. All right, my Taurus friends, let's look at what that first step is. We know that the page will help us. That playful, fun, inquisical energy is gonna help. Knowing that we need to Kind of get rid of the, the that past pain and, and sorrows will help but what's our first step and that's the fortune fairy it's the tenth card in the major arcana here and in other decks it would be known as the wheel of fortune and it's really embracing those cycle changes that we're going through embracing this new shift that you're really embracing right now Taurus when you start to Im allow and nurture the natural cycles of our lives and those natural changes that's when you're going to start to really connect in and allow these things to shift allow the your passions they are still very important however putting them a little bit further back allowing that playful inquisitive and um, energy to really envelop you. You're going to need the playful energy to tackle these swords. This is going to be kind of a, a harder aspect of this shift and natural change. 
However, when you embrace those really excited, fun energies and start to take them slowly, you'll find that the, the shift will start to happen for you. Let's look at what your shadow self wants to remind you of. That's the Ten of Wands. Tens are a completion card. They're an ending and a beginning. You have two kind of end pieces here for your um, wands. Nine talks about all that hard work and ten really talks about how you've come to that next chapter piece. And that next chapter piece is a shift from that focusing in and really using that gut power to go forward and going more into the intuitional and kind of shifting our, our area of energy from your uh, passions to your intuition and you're going to find that this flows a lot better. Let's look at a blessing. What blessing do we have for my Taurus friends in regards to supporting them? Oh, got a jumper here. In their sight. Alice in the Sea of Tears. It says, cast away out of your depth and feeling abandoned. And that can connect back into the two of cups there, that connection piece, that need to feel connected. When you are feeling really overwhelmed, and it really much connects into these two, those, those sorrows, those, those hard pieces, the, the, the blessing is more of an encouragement of trying to get out of this kind of sea of tears, if you will, getting out from behind your swords and truly seeing the beauty and love that is right in front of you. For those who wish, you can pause the video here and reflect on the cards. This is a group reading, however, I drew these cards especially for my Taurus friends. What further information do the cards have for you? Like I said, this is a group reading. If you are looking for a more personal or specific topic, you can follow the link below and schedule a private reading with myself. For those who are interested, I'll be running interactive online classes over the next couple of months. On November 11th, I'll be running my introductory to Angels and Archangels class. Then on December 9th, I'll be offering my introduction to Connections or Channeling class. If you're interested in either or both classes, you can find out more information and register on my website. I provided a helpful link below that will take you straight to my classes webpage. I hope you found this video fun and helpful and that you're able to gain some direction into what it is you're missing and how it is you can go about maybe seeing some of the stuff that you're picking up right now. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. I will continue to create fun and exciting videos for my Zodiac friends. If you have any suggestions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. I'm always up for feedback from my friends. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. As you can see, you never know where I'm going to go next and I'd hate for you to miss a video. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. I've provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my Taurus friends.